A manhunt has come to an end after the ambush and killing of a Harris County Sheriff's deputy. Tonight, the person of interest in his killing has been taken into custody just about a mile from where Deputy Fernando Esqueda was shot in the line of duty. Well, Houston's safer again because of this criminal who has been arrested. He goes by the name of Ronald Runny Palmer Jr. He's 44 years of age. And he went to, to Little C's to pick up his pizza. And the, the order was not correct. So instead of being a civilized person and says, my order's wrong, or give me back my money because you got my order wrong, he decided to take out his pistol and pistol whoop one of the employees at the Little Caesar pizza. What's happening right now, the man believed to be connected to the murder of a Harris County Sheriff's deputy is in custody. Late tonight, investigators arrested Ronnie Palmer after a day-long manhunt. Deputies were looking for Palmer after they say he pistol whipped a Little Caesars employee over a wrong pizza order. The man accused of killing a Harris County deputy heard the charges against him in court today. 44-year-old Ronald Palmer is charged with capital murder in the death of 28-year-old deputy Fernando Esqueda. Fox 26's Jade Flurry is live outside of the sheriff's office with the latest update. Jade. Ronald Palmer waived his appearance in probable cause court this afternoon and his capital murder charge request for bond was referred to the judge overseeing the case. He's also facing two charges for aggravated assault. Both of those bonds set for $50,000 each. An assault over a pizza order ending in the death of a Harris County deputy. The deputy was struck multiple times and killed. 44-year-old Ronald Palmer facing three felony charges, two for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon after officials say he pulled a gun on pizzeria employees. We spoke to one of Deputy Escada's sisters. Brenda tells us through tears she was always worried about his safety, but that her brother loved serving his community and protecting others. She can't believe he's gone. And I told him, you made me a, I'm your big sister, but you made me a mother, brother. I love you so much. Take care of yourself. She also says she wants him remembered as a hero and a lovable and kind person. And he flees the scene of the crime. And after he flees, but they had got his license plate before he left. An off-duty sheriff uh, who had been on the force for five years, Fernando Escrata, he had been on the force for five years. He located the vehicle while he was calling in to say he located the vehicle. This human piece of garbage decides to ambush the officer shoots and kills him. By the way, Fernando was uh, engaged to be married. Because ...of Palmer's transport. He spent the day on the run. Authorities believe he moved from house to house with some help. The sheriff says that the house where he was arrested, they believe Palmer had been there just about two hours. Hey, I'm glad they caught him. An hours-long manhunt coming to an end in this neighborhood off C.E. King. Ronnie Palmer Jr. arrested at a home on Gita. Law enforcement drone images show it from above. This is Palmer up close, a person of interest in the on-duty death of 28-year-old Deputy Fernando Esqueda. This is someone that's serving your, uh, your county, your country and stuff. You got to protect our boys in blue. 44-year-old Palmer has been wanted since just after 10 last night when the Harris County Sheriff's Office says he pistol whipped an employee at a Little Caesars because his order was wrong. Deputy. So now, not only will his future wife not get a chance to get married to, to him, a mother, a father, uh, a, a brother has been gunned down over something so senseless as a damn pizza order. Just think about the mindset of some people, how silly this is. This particular Little Caesars pizza store is near Beltway 8 in Wallaceville. I believe it's on the northern end of Channel View. 
Now, the clerk reported that the suspect entered the store to pick up a pizza. He became angry because he's not civilized about employees messing up his order, then took out his gun and pistol whooped the clerk with it. He fled and his license plate was taken down and instead of just giving your damn self up because you made a dumb mistake the first time, he decided to take someone's life. Uh, I hope we're seeking the death penalty in this particular uh, crime. I don't care what he thought. I don't care anything about that. If you think it's acceptable to pistol whip somebody because you got your order wrong, it's obvious, even by looking at the picture, that he's not a very civilized individual. Now, Officer Esquata uh, worked on a task force responsible for arresting suspects accused of violent crimes, like this damn criminal. Every time you look at the news, most of this can be prevented. But it seems to me people are becoming a little bit more and more insane. Why would you go to this extreme over a wrong pizza order? Instead of acting like a damn adult or acting like a civilized adult, says, you got my order wrong, I'd like to get my money back, or would you please give me another order because that's not my order. See, only uncivilized people think like this. And I guess we are becoming an uncivilized country because we keep releasing criminals, number one. Number two is that we're not tough enough when we do lock them up. And number three is that some people are not responsible enough to be in society. If you pistol whip somebody because they got your order wrong, chances are you may commit murder anyway because you are a special special kind of stupid to get in this type of trouble over some damn Little Caesars pizza. Now this family is without a loved one. Good young, good looking young man for the sheriff department. They He decided not to be an adult and a civilized uh, uh, citizen. He decided to act like a damn criminal and shoot the man over some damn pizza. Now I hope that we're seeking the death penalty because we do have the death penalty down here. We can either get old Sparky or we got a lot of rope down here in Texas uh, because we are cowboys down here and yippee yo yippee yay yay. We need to get a rope and uh, just put it around his neck. When we find him guilty, we're going to be civilized about it. Find him guilty. But once he's found guilty, uh, we don't need to just uh, milk this thing out because I think that the evidence is pretty clear here, right? And when the officers, because they had the whole task force and the SWAT team looking for him, I was hoping he didn't surrender and uh, we would have took him on out. Because now we got to spend some more money on him. But when, once he realized that the house was surrounded, he called the police and said, I want to give myself up. No, come out shooting. I wanted you to come out shooting. So he gets surrenders now. They say the house that he was located, they believe it was his mother's house. And he only had been there two hours. If you are somebody I know, don't knock on my damn door if you just kill the police officer. Fool, I'm going to shoot you myself. Do not knock on my damn door. You want to do what? Hey, man, I want to hide. Fool, don't knock on my door no damn more. Why would I help you? You just shot the damn police officer over some damn pizza. I'm thinking about shooting you my damn self. This is our society now. And I'm sure somebody may even get on TV. I don't know if his mother... But then on the TV and say, oh, my boy, I ain't never done nothing. Well, he just did something. Over some damn pizza from Little Caesars, he decided to pistol whip somebody and murder somebody else after he gets caught. Our society, see, we need to start thinning out the herd. Some people are not fit for living, and this is a prime example of this. I don't want to hear any excuse. I don't want a plea bargain. We want to crank it up. We want the death penalty. Because you know he's not fit. If you would pistol whip somebody over some Little Caesars pizza, it's obvious you're not fit for society. So let's stand out the herd a little bit and take care of business, Texas. Do not be like some of these other states. We don't want to hear any excuses. I don't care 
What excuse he makes up? He's 44 years of age. He should have got over it by now. If his mama or daddy wasn't no good, he should have got over there. And maybe he's just a lunatic and they tried to raise him the way. I don't really care. But the parent should be advocating for the death penalty also, in my humble opinion.